Hi everyone! In this video, I want to share how to make a date picker in React.js. We are doing three video parts because there are so many you can learn in these videos. In the first part, which is in this video, I will share how to install React Date Picker via npm, display the Date Picker component, set placeholder for Date Picker, set default value for Date Picker, connect Date Picker value to React Stack, set on change Date Picker event. Clear selected date. Also, I will give a bonus section about how to manage additional events like open and close calendar. Change inline function to function for calendar event handling. Change from React.js functional component to React component. In the second part, I will share how to Make date selection range. Create date selection range using date picker. Create date selection range only using one date picker. You can also use inline date and add select today button. On the last part, I will share how to use a custom input field for your date picker. For example, you can use a button instead of a text field. Use a custom date format for your output. Without further ado, let's get started. Install your React app using your own method. To simplify the installation process, I'm using create react app. You can install it using npm install global create react app. If you already have it, just open your terminal or command prompt or PowerShell. Then type npx create react app react.js with that picker. React.js with that picker is your destination react app folder. Now let's wait till it's done. Now open react.js with the picker folder with your favorite IDE. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Open console, and what we are going to do is essential, which is installing a React Dead Picker. And how to do it? Like installing any npm extension, we can just type npm install React Dead Picker save. Start our development server so we can see our app in the browser. Let's open our app.js and modify our page. Let's make it empty first. Done. Now let's display our date picker. First step. You must add React Date Picker styling first with the import CSS path. If you're not doing this, you won't see the pop-up calendar. Second, import the Date Picker component from React Date Picker. Third, just use the component inside our JSX element on our app. Let's take a look at our browser. We can see the date picker already working, even though it's not receiving or showing any value. The first value that I want to show you is how to display the placeholder. Just use placeholder text attribute and set it to any text you want. I'm using select your date. Nice, right? But still, it's not show us any date value we will change it now. Let's set the default value for the date picker. We can just initialize the date class on an attribute called selected. So we can get today's date as our value. This is so easy, right? But if you try to change the date, 
it's still not working. We can't change the value. So how to change it? As you know, React has props and states. And because this date can always be changed, we must use states. Let's connect the date value with the date state. Import your state function from React. Use state function returns two parameters, which is the value and the set value function. We can name the value as selected date and the set value function as set selected date. Use state also receives a parameter as the default value. It's an optional. We're using date class as default value so we can know that the state is working well. Now, use selected date state to selected attribute. Good to know that it's working on our first try. Now, let's handle date selection change. To handle date selection change event, use the set selected date attribute. This attribute passing date as a parameter that will be used for the selected date. You remember that we're using state, right? And we already made set selected date for our selected date state. So we can just push the date value to set selected date. For now, we can just use this inline function for our purpose. Let's see if our date picker can work properly. Yes, it's working great. Hmm, I already like this, but I do love it more if our placeholder shows up first, not date value as our default value. Let's change it first. Again, it's optional, and you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Sometimes we need to clear our date selection. This one will be very easy. Just use the date picker attribute name is clearable. You see that we didn't declare the value for this attribute. It's because just for using it, it will declare its value as boolean type true. Now we can clear our date as we want. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I will use this for, but maybe some of you will need this. For calendar open event, we have an attribute called on calendar open, and the handler is just a function. For example, we want to print to the console. Wait, let's just use alert. Alert when the calendar is open. Let's see if it works. Great. Now, let's try for the calendar close event. It's working the same way. That's why we can try it using alert too. Some of you may be confused because of this inline function. But no worries. You can always use normal function. Let's convert the inline function to a normal function for our calendar open and close event handling. Declare our function, open braces, and then we can do our function here. But, if we are just doing one thing inside the function, we do not need the braces. You don't need parentheses or braces for doing one thing inside the function. That's it. Easy, right? Now, for you who loves React component more than functional component, this is for you. Let's change our app to become a React component. Clear unused attributes first from our date picker. Now, import React from React. Removes our state. We will initialize it in components way. Change our app from function to a class and extend it 
from react.component. Return our JSX element from the render function. Save it. And we see an error. Nice. Don't worry though. It's because we are not declaring our state and not having the set state method. Create our constructor. Initialize selected date in it. And let's create the set selected date method for on change event handling. And, whoa, still an error. Selected date is not defined. Okay, I see. I use state now. So I must use this.state.selectedDate instead of selected date. Try to run it one more time and... Hmm, weird. The alert still shows up even though we already removed it. We know it's because the rendering system for ReactJS development, so we must refresh the page to clear the alerts code from cache. Oh no, another error? Cannot read property selected date of now. Why is it now? Let's try using date and not undefined for default value, just to check if the problem comes from its initial value. Nope, still got an error. Mm, let's check it more carefully. Ah, I'm using the wrong code. It should be this.state equals object initialization, not using this.setState method. It's also a note for you guys, in ReactJS, we should declare the state first. After that, we can change it using the setState method. Now, I'm sure it's working great. That's all for this video. If you like it, don't forget to press like, subscribe, and ring the bell button. Thank you for watching, see you in the next part.